Busy Bee Home Cooking. So today's Busy Bee is Nadia Fernando, the beautiful and talented and she also an entrepreneur. Hi Nadia. Hi. So what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to uh, make some food that is not going to be edible. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> 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 but I swear it's going to look really good. Really? <laughs> yes. You're kidding, right? <laughs> well, so then shall we get it started? Yes. So uh, today I'm going to um, make my favorite dish. Actually, it's my husband's favorite dish. Mm -hmm. It's a version of shakshuka. Okay. Uh, so shakshuka is a Spanish uh, breakfast meal. Shakshuka. Shakshuka. Yes. Alright. Okay. <laughs> it's a Spanish breakfast meal, but okay. uh, you know, it's going to be my version of it. Alright. So now he's doing fine, right? He's been eating your shakshuka. Yes, he's still alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. Let's start. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna poach some eggs. Alright. Um so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically let the water boil okay. and the little trick about poaching eggs mm -hmm. is that you've got to let you've got to strain the egg first <laughs> so basically you strain the egg okay uh, now obviously if you were not lazy you do this one by one okay. but we are lazy <laughs> I'm lazy, I just yeah, be talking to them. <laughs> so I'm gonna use two poached eggs. Yeah. So what That's happens the whole is point, you know, like we are busy, he, lazy to cook. <laughs> so um, Yes, I mean I'm working all day, I yeah. come back home, I want to I want to make something really fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these are the type of things that I uh, put together. And most of my dishes are one dish meals. Oh, okay. You'll see that today. Alright. Interesting. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, so when you look at this, mm -hmm. can you see all of that stuff that has come? Yeah. Okay. The egg white. Uh, no. Yeah. It's not just only the egg white. It is, uh, so basically if you use uh, very new eggs, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have this much of uh, uh, straining to do. Ah, okay. However, if the egg is not very new, mm -hmm. though the things that literally strained out of this is going to make the water very wispy. I see, okay. And oh. you won't get that proper uh, round poached egg. Oh, okay. wow. You're good. You're good at this. A little bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so basically we're going to wait until the water boils completely. So until we wait, we'll drink. Mid-30s iced tea. Mid-30s iced tea. We are sponsoring the show. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Very nice. Alright. Mid-30s. I'm in my mid-30s. I'm in my mid-30s. And we are drinking mid-30s tea. So I'll... Um, so basically while that is happening, mm -hmm. I am going to start on the other dish. Alright. So... Here, put that at mid heat. Okay. And I'm going to use a little bit of a butter. So this is kind of like a flavored butter. It has, uh, like most people use it as a dip. I see paprika and uh, burnt, burnt garlic. garlic. Yeah. yeah. I love garlic so, and paprika. So I'm going to use a little bit of butter. Mm -hmm. Stop. And while that butter is melting, I like that color of the butter. It's it's nice, right? Yeah, it's really nice. It tastes really good too. Okay. Uh, so they've got uh, butter uh, with different flavors. Mm -hmm. 
and I keep a few with me. And for certain, for different dishes, I use uh, different flavored butters. Uh, so the water is boiling. Okay. So I'm gonna use a little bit of tomato, just fresh tomato in here. Yeah. Like if people, people who are watching the show mm -hmm. are not busy and if they can, you know, actually do it at home. And when it reduces the blend the tomatoes and use that is also fine, right? Uh, yeah, if you're going to make it, I mean, uh, basically you can make your own tomato paste. It's not very difficult. Do you know how to do that? Uh, yes, I do, Wait, but I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> so, but even, even if I do use tomato paste, I use fresh tomatoes in it as well. Oh. Uh, just to give it a, you know, that uh, natural flavor. And you're using all organic fruits and yes. vegetables? Yes, I always use organic fruits and vegetables. The reason why I use fruits and vegetables now is that I really don't know whether, uh, you know, tomatoes are vegetables? Tomatoes are, are technically fruits. Fruits, no? Okay. Yes. So basically anything that has a seed is a fruit. And I also want to mention that we may make mistakes you know, we don't know the rules, we are not professional chefs and we are just lazy, busy <laughs> ladies who like to cook at home. <laughs> Am I correct? Yes, that's extremely correct. Alright, so the water is boiling here. Yeah. So I put this on a very low heat uh, just to keep it, to simmer it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to now reduce the heat on this as well. So if you can see, as long as you've got to reduce the heat until you can barely see the little bubbles. Okay. If you yeah. can, if you, oh, you can still see the bubbles. Yes. Tiny little bubbles like that is oh, perfect. Right. Okay. Um, so I also use a little bit of a vinegar. Vinegar, mm. because uh, vinegar tends to. It's just normal vinegar or any specific uh, kind like. Apple? I I use rice vinegar. All right. Uh, just just a little bit. Okay. And then the eggs. Yep. Just put the eggs right in there. Obviously, if you were, if I was a professional chef, it probably would have been better. But then you know, I'm good with this. It's good. It's good. <laughs> You're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, egg should be poached for two minutes. All right. Uh, sorry, four minutes. Four minutes. But we're going to poach it in here for about three minutes mm -hmm. because that is going to go into this, mm -hmm. and it's going to stay for another minute. Uh, so peppers, they can even be eaten raw, so I put them in last. Yeah. Rich um, in vitamin C. Rich in vitamin C, okay. <laughs> and I'm going to take my poached egg. Oh, you have good. to be very careful. Put it right there in the middle. And I'm going to use a little bit of cheese. A little? Yeah, just a little bit of cheese around it. I love cheese. I like to use mozzarella. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I also like to use a little bit of green chili. Uh, so sometimes I use um, kidney beans. But today I'm not going to use any kidney beans, I'm going to use olives. Hmm. Can't 
can't wait for the part where I get to taste it. That's my... I swear it's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cover it a little bit mm -hmm. just um, just so that the, the cheese melts oh, okay. um, evenly. Do you need a break? No, nope. all good. Okay, that's a new way of covering the pan. Yeah, I just, because this is, well, obviously because this is not big enough for this pan, so I have to cover it this way. I'm just wondering, what on earth is she doing? I'm just trying to keep the heat in there. So then... Do you need a bigger... Okay, we're done. We're done. And there you go. That is my shakshuka. So do we, like... Uh, properly displayed or are we going to taste this? So, as I said before, mm -hmm. all my meals are eaten off pans. Oh, <laughs> At least yeah, most of my meals yeah, are no, eaten no, off pans. That, uh, so I would, would, I would literally uh, serve it this way. Okay, give me a spoon. Yes. So, I am going to then leave going this to. over here. Mm -hmm. And you need a fork and a spoon for this. Alright. Yes, some. sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so you know the egg is done really well. Mm -hmm. If it runs. If it runs. If it runs, yeah. Can I, can I, can I? Uh, no, use a, use, use a spoon too. Okay, okay, you do it then. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Oh, yes. There you go. Good job, Nadia. Uh, I'm proud of you. Okay, now you gotta try it with the fork and the spoon, yeah. Okay. Be careful, it's a little hot. Sure. Yes. Wow. Okay. So that's what I really like about mozzarella cheese, because it's very, very stretchy. Good food, good tea, good time. But um, you haven't tasted it yet, so you yeah, don't know. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm sure it's going to taste good. What do you think? To be honest, I was worried, but it's super. Thank you! <laughs> okay. I was worried, but it tastes so good! Um, well, everyone loves it. This is oh the only way God. that uh, my son would eat a poached egg. So I love making this. Uh, I, and it's such an such a easy dish to make. Uh, generally, I would serve it with a little bit of to toast. Oh, okay. Just to kind of uh, uh, soak up all the juices. I was only supposed to taste it once, but sorry. <laughs> Good? I just can't believe this. <laughs> oh, I'm so I glad. Stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Okay, um, okay anyway. <laughs> That's mine. And. Uh, so Nadia, thank you so much for yeah, joining us today and you get to ask a question and uh, whoever gets the answer for it will win a voucher worth of 5000 rupees from Joyful Journeys clothing store. Okay, so my question today is... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how long should a poached egg be poached for? There you go, that's your question. Mm, for rules and regulations, uh, look in the description box and answer while I eat. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye.